a sheep in a helicopter. <laughs> and that was typical Sabine. When she walked into a room, it was as though everything got just a bit brighter and a bit louder. It was just, she was turning everything up on your television until it was just like that. And that's what Five Minutes with Sabine was like. I remember her being sat behind the wheel, big smile on her face, shouting and screaming as she just goes past us. She was an absolute force of nature, and that's how I want to remember her. It's the breadth of the affection for her. It was, you know, everybody from, from the hardcore Nürburgringers who respected her enormously to just, you know, households who watched Top Gear and who just loved her because she'd turn up and sort of slightly smash the place up, you know, and, and ridicule the rest of us. And I, I think it earned her a huge, huge number of fans. There weren't ever really many women racing when I was coming up through the ranks, let alone successful women racing. But Sabina was always there, and she was always someone that I watched from afar. And seeing her success definitely inspired me. She was a real figurehead for women within motorsport, and she had such belief in her talent and her ability. Just a source of joy. You watch those films with her in again, and just watch her smile. Watch her expressions when she was driving right on the ragged edge. Oh, I love it! Woo! Even at those moments, she was happy to give in to the joy of it. I'm sure she had a great deal more of that to share with all of us. <laughs>